Hi guys, uh, Doug at BudgetAstro.net um, This is my much promised um, tutorial on layer masking which I've been promising for, god blimey, since I was about 12 I think, seems like that. Um, I'm anticipating this will be a, a series of uh, tutorials, videos, I don't know how many um, maybe 3, 4, something like that. Um, that's why this is called uh, Layer Masking 1 um, so uh, I can't put it all in one video. There's <coughs> there's an awful lot you can talk about with um, layer masking. Uh, you're limited only by your imagination, really. Um, very powerful tool in Photoshop. Um, so I'll start off with this. I'll go, I'll go right right into the basics of um, layer masking and how you create a layer mask and what it can do. Uh, and then in the later videos, hopefully, I can um, show you a few more bits and pieces that um, that you can actually do with it. So. Uh, we'll uh, crack on with this one and uh, see how we go. Now what you can see uh, on screen uh, at the moment is uh, obviously Photoshop CS5 um, and uh, an image that I took a while back now um, the uh, Leo triplet. Um, I fiddled around with it a bit, I've done a little bit of processing with this thing uh, just levels and uh, um, curves uh, noise reduction. That's why you can see two layers if you look uh, down here uh, you've got two layers at the moment, background, background copy. Uh, background copy is what I've done the noise reduction in. I'm going to use that in a minute. Um, but before I uh, uh, just ignore that for now, just imagine that's just the background, um, I'll show you how to um, create uh, an adjustment layer. We, I've briefly mentioned this in, in a previous tutorial, um, but you should really do any adjustments you make, curves, levels, um, uh, colour balance, saturation, whatever, you should really do it in a, an adjustment layer um, <coughs> for reasons I explained previously in an earlier video. Um, I tend not to do that because I'm lazy. Um, I tend to just duplicate the layer that I'm currently working in but uh, I'm going to zoom into that panel, this panel down here, um, uh, and just show you how to create uh, an adjustment layer and how to create uh, 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 an additional layer and things like that and how you actually create the layer mask. So we'll zoom into that first. Okay, here we go. Uh, I've got a uh, background copy selected at the moment. If you just click on the layer, and it will select the layer that you want. Um, if I wanted to add a layer master background copy, just go down here, a uh, little white circle. If I mouse over that, it should say add layer master. There we go. Uh, click on that, and that adds a layer master to that layer. You can't add a layer mask, by the way, to the background layer. If I click on that, you'll see that that layer is now, uh, <coughs> the layer mask button is now um, grayed out. So you can't use it. You can't add a, uh, a layer mask to the background layer. Um, Okay, so that's a layer mask added to background copy, uh, and I'll show you what to do with that in a minute. Uh, if I wanted to delete that layer mask, just right click uh, and delete layer mask. There you go, and it's gone. Okay, now what you should be doing when you make adjustments, you should be using um, adjustment layers as far as you can. Um, and that's the button next to the layer mask button, that one there, black and white circle. Uh, create new field adjustment layer. If I click on that, it gives you all the standard uh, Photoshop options. Um, they're standard processes that you can create an adjustment layer for. You can't create an adjustment layer specifically for plugins uh, like Noise Ninja or something like that. You can't create a, an adjustment layer for that. You can only create it for the standard um, Photoshop uh, processes. So let's create one for hue saturation. Click on that. Um, and there you can see hue saturation adjustment layer. It already comes with a built-in layer mask. You don't have to create a layer mask for an adjustment layer because there's one already there. Uh, you don't have to use it. Uh, if you leave it as it is, then it won't have any effect. Uh, but uh, but it's already uh, automatically uh, added uh, when you create the adjustment layer. Okay, and if you wanted to delete that adjustment layer, just right click on it again uh, on the actual adjustment layer itself rather than the layer mask and then delete layer. And there you go, we're back to where we were. Okay, uh, back to the full image. Uh, now we're back to our just uh, two layers we started with background and background copy. Um, now, if you wanted to, so say I was working on background copy. Um, that layer, and I wanted to do, um, I don't know, a saturation adjustment. Uh, I go up to um, Image, Adjustments, Hue Saturation, uh, and you get this window come up here, uh, which is where you're going to make your adjustment. You're probably familiar with this type of thing, uh, and it will make an adjustment within this layer. Um, so any adjustment I made, if I subsequently deleted that layer, then that adjustment would disappear. Um, okay, I've shown you that for a reason. I'm going to cancel that now. Um, if I, I'm going to create an, an adjustment layer now um, for hue saturation. So I go down to this button which I showed you previously, click on that, hue saturation, and it's created a hue saturation adjustment layer. And the box where you make the adjustments is now up here. Uh, it's not a floating window like it was before. 
so when you're using adjustment layers, uh, the, the adjustment box appears up here. You can go back to it and you can make changes to it, which is which is the, the whole purpose of adjustment layers. Um, you can do one adjustment layer, then do another adjustment layer and another adjustment layer, all for different processes, and you can make adjustments to it, and it won't affect the layer above. It will just affect that particular adjustment, and that's why you should really use them. Um, okay. Now, if you look at the... Uh, layer mask in this layer, in the adjustment layer, hue saturation, I'll just click on it, um, it's got a box around it. If I click away from that, if I click on this little icon here, uh, which tells you it's an adjustment layer, that black and white circle, I'll click on that, that box around the layer mask disappears, hopefully you can see that. Uh, click back on the layer mask, there's a little box around it, click on this, and there's no box. Um, that tells you the layer mask is active and you can work in it. I'll explain that a bit more in a minute. Um, okay, so I'm going to hoik up the saturation to a ridiculous extent. Uh, work it up to, I don't know, about there. Uh, I wouldn't do this sort of adjustment in reality. I'm just, uh, this is just for the uh, for the purposes of demonstration. Um, now that uh, saturates the image. It doesn't only saturate the galaxies, it saturates just about everything else, including the noise, uh, which probably isn't a good thing. Um, if we zoom into this, into this image, look at the galaxy there, you can see that's saturated, but you can see the noise is saturated as well. If I disable this, uh, adjustment layer for a second just by clicking on the eyeball you can see the difference there's a lot more colour in the galaxy too much colour in the galaxy in fact uh, and a lot more colour in the noise and the stars um, and that's why we're going to use a layer mask ok I'll zoom out again Good. ok so here we have uh, an overly saturated image um, and uh, we want uh, we want the galaxies to be saturated, we don't want the rest of the image to be saturated, we don't want the noise saturated and all the stars necessarily to be saturated, so we just want the galaxies saturated uh, so how do we do that? Uh, now you may uh, be familiar a little bit with layer masks and you may know that uh, if you paint parts of the layer mask black uh, the adjustment doesn't show through uh, and the white bits the adjustment does show through and if it's grey part of the adjustment shows through that sort of thing uh, white reveals black conceals I think that's right um, so what we could do I'm going to zoom into this image for a minute uh, just, to, just to demonstrate um, get that galaxy up OK, the layer mask is selected. This is important. So click on the layer mask, make sure it's got that, uh, it's got that little square around it. Uh, and if we go over here, you can see black and white uh, on this side. Uh, let's cancel that. I'll just click on it to show you it. Uh, black and white. That's because layer masks only work in black and white. There's no colour in layer masks, they're just black and white. Um, and we can switch between black and white depending on what colour brush we're going to use, whether we're going to use a black one or whether we're going to use a white one. Uh, we're going to use a black one in this instance. So bl black needs to be there. Uh, not white, black. Okay. And select the brush up here. Click on the brush tool. Uh, and that's a reasonable size. That's okay. Um, and the opacity, which is up the top here, um, we're going to set it to 100%. You can adjust that so that it's somewhere between sort of grey and black, whatever you want to do, uh, whatever turns you on. I'm going to use black for now, uh, just to demonstrate this. Uh, now, with the layer mask selected, uh, just there, uh, if I paint on this now, just paint over that galaxy. There you go. Uh, now if we look at the layer mask, and if you hold the ALT key down on a PC, don't know what it is on a Mac, hold the ALT key down uh, and then click on the layer mask, that will show you the layer mask. There you go. That's that blob I just painted. Um, and what's happened there is it's taken out the uh, the colour out of the galaxy. Uh, so the adjustment I made to that uh, uh, hue saturation adjustment layer doesn't work on that galaxy now because I've painted it with black on the layer mask. So the uh, the adjustment doesn't show through. If I disable that layer mask temporarily, disable layer mask, just right click on it, disable layer mask, there's a colour in the galaxy and everywhere else as well, and the noise, uh, and then enable layer mask, right click, enable layer mask, and you can see it disappears. So you can disable the layer mask to see what it looks like uh, without the layer mask, and then enable it, show what it looks like with it. Okay. That's a quick demonstration. Zoom back out again. Now I'm going to take out that uh, adjustment, well not the adjustment, the, uh, the, the, the brush tool work I just did on the uh, layer mask. If you click on history, uh, you can say enable layer mask, disable, that's where I've been messing around with the layer mask. There's a brush tool. Uh, we want to get rid of that. So if you go back to the uh, action before it, modify hue saturation layer, go back to that. Uh, click on layers and there you go, it's, it's, it's disappeared. The mark on the layer mask has disappeared. Just to show you, alt click, no marks, and alt click again, and it brings you back to the, uh, to the actual image. Okay, now what we could do, um, if we wanted to, 
Uh, selected bus tool, still got black selected. Um, bus tool's not very big, so I'm going to make it bigger. I'm not sure that you can see um, the size of the bus. You probably can't um, on this video. Rubbish. Uh, but there you go. We'll have to. Uh, uh, the, the bus is quite a bit bigger now than it was before, if you can't see it. Uh, now, what we could do is we could paint all of the sky in black if we want to do. Be careful not to do the galaxies all the way around. And if you look at the layer mask as I'm doing this, you'll see this it's uh, slowly being filled in. And I could do that for the whole image, and that's a bit of a pain. Um, that takes forever. I'll show you the uh, layer mask. Alt click. Bit messy. You can paint directly on the layer mask, by the way. Uh, now that I've got it showing, if I wanted to, I could do this. Fill in the blank bits, you know, that have uh, bits that it hasn't appeared on. And I could do all that. And that's a nuisance. We don't really want to do it that way. Uh, there's an alternative, you'll be pleased to know. We'll click about the image. Uh, history. Get rid of that brush tool work. Oh god, there's loads of it. Okay, here we go. Back there. Okay, layer mask is blank again. Um, click on the layer mask, as we did before. Uh, and this time, control, hold the control key down on a PC. And I. And that inverts the layer mask, turns it black. Okay, so, n so none of that adjustment now shows through. Um, the hue saturation adjustment because the, the layer mask is black. So now what we can do, go over here, change it to white, got the brush selected, too big now, reduce that brush a bit. Okay, uh, zoom into that galaxy and paint on that. Look at that. So that adjustment is now showing through just for the galaxy. If we look at the layer mask, Alt, click on the layer mask, it's now black with a white bit. And that's a lot easier. I'll go into this one and I'll do that one as well. There you go. Lots of colour in the galaxy. Zoom out again and go into that one. And there you go. Okay. Uh, so now we've got colour in the galaxies, uh, but no colour everywhere else because we've used, click on the layer mask, we've used um, white on black instead of black on white. Okay. So that's useful. That saves a bit of time. Uh, okay, having done all that work, I'm going to uh, delete this uh, overly saturated layer now. Uh, right click on the layer. Um, and make sure you uh, you right click on the layer. Not on the, if I right click on the layer mask, these are the options I get. Disable layer mask, delete layer mask, etc. etc. Um, but if you right click on the actual layer, then you've got a different set of options. So I'm going to delete that layer, that adjustment layer, with the overly saturated image. Delete layer, so it's gone. Okay. Um, now the background copy layer that you can see there, I use that to uh, reduce the noise in the image, if I zoom in, uh, i get that in the centre more or less, ok, uh, disable that layer, you can see it's horribly noisy, hopefully, uh, uh, and then the noise has been reduced, but what's also happened is it's taken out some of the detail in the in the actual galaxy, so I'm going to employ exactly the same process uh, in this, the reason I didn't use an adjustment layer for this by the way is that you can't use an adjustment layer for plugins and I use Noise Ninja for this noise reduction uh, and you can't use an adjustment layer for Noise Ninja so I've had to use a normal layer uh, and make the adjustment in that. Ok so I'm going to add a layer mask as I did previously and I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Um, white layer mask, that's because I want the majority of the image um, I want the adjustment that I've made, the noise reduction that I've made, I want that to apply to the majority of the image, I just want to take out the galaxy. So a white layer mask and I'm going to use a black brush. So black selected, select the brush, uh, size is about right, uh, although you can't see it, but never mind. Uh, and now I'm going to make sure the layer mask is selected by clicking on it, make sure it's got a little square around it so the layer mask is actually selected, otherwise you'll end up painting on your image and you don't want to do that. Uh, so I'm going to paint over that now with a black brush, uh, around the, roughly around the area that I want. That's more or less it. Now, if I go into the layer, it's into the uh, layer mask itself. Alt click, and I can fill in the. If I wanted to do this, slightly bigger brush actually, Maybe a bit quicker. Okay, there we go. Um, and that fills in all the bits that you couldn't see. There we go. Now, if I click on the actual layer itself, disable it. You can see the noise in the sky has been reduced, uh, but the galaxy's not been so badly affected. Um, by the noise reduction. Um, this is a bit of an extreme example. You wouldn't necessarily blank out the whole galaxy like that. You know, you'd uh, use your judgment and just maybe blank out parts of it. Um, but this is just for the purposes of demonstration. I'm going to go into the other galaxies and do the same thing with them. Uh, this one here. Just paint over that. Have a look at the layer mask. See what it looks like. Okay, that'll do. Uh, and this one over here. Slightly bigger brush for this. There we go. 
have a look at a layer mask. Okay, that's good. Right, uh, what else you may want to do with a layer mask? All clicks and bring it up again is uh, go into filter, blur, Gaussian blur, uh, and just blur those marks a little bit, just so that the uh, the edge the edges of the uh, of the mask isn't so sharp. Uh, it's just oh, okay, that'll do. Just use your judgment on this, and you'll see uh, the effect it has on the image, and whether you're happy with it. Okay, look at the image again. Uh, and the noise is reduced, but not in the galaxy, and so on and so forth. Okay. Um, all right, guys. There's uh, there's an awful lot more you can do with this, and the uh, later videos will uh, will demonstrate that. This is just uh, really a taste. I'm not sure that I've covered much more than I'd already covered in a previous video, anyway. But never mind. Um, so hopefully that's helpful. It gives you an idea of what layer masks are, how to create them, how you can use them and invert them, etc., etc., um, and the different um, uh, times you can use them different processes and what have you. You can use layer masks for anything. Any adjustment you make in a layer or an adjustment layer, any adjustment at all, you can use a layer mask and you can just uh, just to ensure that it only has an effect on parts of your image and not the entire image if that's what you want to do. Um, okay, so this is uh, just an intro. Hopefully that was useful and uh, I'll be back soon uh, a little bit quicker, I hope. It won't take me another year. Uh, I'll be back soon with, uh, with the second video and then we'll carry on from there and uh, I'll just show you uh, uh, a few... Um, uh, occasions where you can actually uh, put this into real life practice. Alright guys, I hope that helps and I'll uh, speak to you soon. Cheers guys, bye.